Welcome to the office in Malta. So this is the office early in the morning and most of the work happens either here at the office or working from home. A lot of the things that we do in the sea surveillance are to check how the interventions that we have are working in the case of COVID. That means, for example, looking at the effectiveness of vaccines on those hospitalized patients. We look at the hospitalized data and what I do for my side, and what all the APIAT fellows will do, I go in to analyze this data. And then at the end of the day, and I analyze it through different logistic regressions to find what are the vaccine effectiveness estimates. So you as an APIAT fellow and as a world, as an field epidemiology will do is we make sure that the information that is gathered through data makes it to the people that need to take decisions. And that's why we say happy world field epidemiology day. Hi everyone. I'm Charlotte and I'm currently a second year EPIAD fellow. I'm actually right now returning from deployment to Papua New Guinea and as you can see behind me, well, or at least I hope you can actually see, I'm filming this from the airport in Singapore from where I will then travel to Doha and then back to Helsinki which is where I'm currently based for the two years of my fellowship. There isn't really like a standard day when you're on deployment or at least not on most deployments. Um, but working in EPI and surveillance means that you could be tasked with analysing sort of routine data or you could also be doing some sort of more in-depth epidemiological analyses. But then the, the other really important side of deployments is often capacity building. Now all of these deployments are sort of like high stress, high workload usually, but they're also really, really fun and extremely culturally enriching and that makes them some of the, the best parts of being a field epi and you can you can definitely see like a very strong work hard play hard vibe going around. Hi my name is Dr. Andreas Hofer. I'm a UFM fellow from cohort 2019. I'm originally from Germany and I have been um, doing the program here from Madrid. One of the things that I like most about this is the UFM uh, training in this uh, in the days of the pandemic was uh, the effort that my host site and that the UFM program went through to allow me to participate and to contribute my past experience towards the mitigation of the pandemic in Spain. Um, during this time, I was able to participate in three different COVID-related projects, one of which was a what would be considered one of the first COVID-19 outbreaks in Spain, which was in Tenerife. Um, we also participated in an outbreak that was occurring in a refugee reception center in Melilla. Um, when we came back from that, I was allowed to participate in the diagnostic support part of the pipeline um, from receiving the samples to doing the PCRs to sending the results so that we can all do what we can to uh, help get this under control. Hello, my name is Bojana Mahmutovic. Uh, I'm an uh, APIAT Fellow, Cohort 2020, MS Trek, Croatia, and I'm also Epidemiology Specialist working in Institute of Public Health in Krapinsko Zagorska County in Croatia. I have been working in epidemiology department since 2014 uh, and my job has been quite interesting and challenging those last six months uh, while we starting vaccinating people it has been in a way a relief because we finally feel that we we are helping and that we can make a change uh, but before that, all those uh, new daily cases, all those uh, contacts, contact tracing, uh, COVID deaths, it have been, in one word, really, really challenging year.